Hi, I'm the Electrical Doctor. After you've purchased a universal remote from your local home improvement store, you're ready to complete this project. The tools needed will be a Phillips head screwdriver, wire strippers, wire nuts which are included with the purchase of the remote, the receiver and the handheld unit. Before you start, be sure to turn the power off. Remember, safety is your first priority. Then, you can go on to remove the screws from the shroud. This gives you access to the wiring you need to get the job done. Once the screws are removed, allow the shroud to drop down, revealing the wiring. The shroud should rest gently on top of the fan motor. Now go ahead and pull the wires from inside the bracket housing. You'll see a black wire, a white wire, and possibly a red wire. There's also a grounding wire which stays inside the ceiling box. Some fans may not have the red wire, but for those of you that have the extra red wire, just cap it off and push it to the side. It's not needed for this setup. Now just remove the wire nuts and physically separate the wires by pushing the incoming power supply wires off to one side. These are the solid black, white, and red wires. The flexible wires for the fan, which are black, blue, and white, should be kept on the other. Be sure to set the dip switches before installing the receiver, because if they don't match, the unit will not work. As you can see here, I set the dip switches to where number 3 is on, and 1, 2, and 4 are set to off. You should see three wires on the side of the receiver and two on the other. The three wires that will attach to the fan are white, black, and blue. The other two wires are black and white. These wires connect directly to the incoming power supply. You are now ready to install the receiver. To do this, turn the receiver so it's facing down and install it through the opening in the bracket housing. These receivers are designed to fit snugly in place. It is now time to connect the wiring from the incoming power supply. You want to match the colors, so be sure to connect white to white and black to black. When you're finished, it should look like this. Now let's connect the wiring from the receiver to the wiring in the fan. In most cases, the colors should be the same. Just connect white to white, black to black, and blue to blue. When finished, it should look something like this. Now that all the wires are connected, you can reinstall the shroud. But first, be sure to take all the excess wiring and tuck it in. There should be a little room between the receiver and the ceiling fan box. Slide the shroud back into place over the bracket and reinstall the fastener screws. Once the shroud is firmly in place, it is time to turn the power back on and test out your new remote. Be sure that the switches which originally controlled the fan are in the on position. Then, test the light button on the remote to be sure the fan lights turn on and off. Next, 
Test the fan by pushing the buttons for low, medium, and high. With these settings, the fan motor should power up and the blades will begin turning. Now that everything has powered up successfully, your work here is done. Enjoy the comforts of your remote controlled operated fan.